before we get into our next story. You may recall that the DSM-5 Diagnostic Service Manual, they diagnose gaming as a mental disorder now. And you may also recall that China has passed for the past few law years laws to hopefully protect kids that they see or whatnot. Because they say there's gaming addictions and they have these camps where they send them away without any electronics or anything to re-educate them. Anyway, I don't really want to go into that, but I do want to go, that's the topic of another day. I do want to go into with uh, new laws that did pass in China about the gaming market. And um, if you think they're okay, and if you think they'll eventually work their way west to America or Europe, and how you yourself would feel if these things were enacted. So here, here let's get into this, okay? All right, here we go. Oh, Jesus. So this is a breakdown of, of the article I showed earlier. Online gaming new laws and regulations. There's going to be a time limit and a payment li time limit per day, a payment limit per month, a check game. Parents will be able to check the game access time when your when your kids or whoever were online and how long they were online. The consumption patterns uh, are can be checked over an app by the parents and the government, as they're watching you. Uh, the chat log monitoring, so anything you say can be seen by everybody. And it also makes it the law that the real person's name must be used when playing a game online. And the law already had this in effect, but from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., no gameplay for anybody under the age of 16. And if you're under, if you're eight to 16, you can play 90 minutes a day on weekdays and up to three hours on weekends. For anybody that's over over 16, you can do more. And children that are 8 to 16 can only spend between 7 and $30 a month on games. Teenagers between 16 and 18 can be charged 15 to $56 a month. And children under 8 cannot play online games. So... I'm throwing this out there with you because, you know, we've had these stories like Nintendo Switch where the, the, our, the FIFA guy, the guy that spent the whole, the child who spent all of his money on FIFA. And there were a few other cases that were extreme. Do you kind of think these laws are okay? And which, do you want to see them come west? Or do you think they belong where they are and they should be rescinded? Leave your comments below. Thank you. Hi. The small clip you saw was brought to you by Loyal World News. If you like what you saw, you should subscribe and, tune and look up my daily Loyal Real News report for its full version. If you don't want to watch it on YouTube, prefer to be on the road, I also have a podcast in, in every full-length video I put up.